Before anyone claims that UFOs are visitors from the future, let me say that I think any such alien visitation would be much more obvious and probably much more unpleasant. Let me get this straight. A thing that looks like a police box standing in a junkyard, it can move anywhere in time and space. Doctor Who's TARDIS is perhaps the best known visualization of a time machine, but there has been no shortage of imaginative ideas about what a practical time machine would look like. general relativity, um, gravity is a manifestation of the warping of space and time. Matter tells space how to warp, how to curve. If you have very massive body, which is rotating, then the rotation and massiveness of the body can twist space and time so drastically that near the rapidly rotating body, the future direction actually points into the past from the point of view of us here on Earth. If such a body actually exists in space, that rapidly rotating body would be a time machine. Rotating black holes have, perhaps, in their interior, regions where time and space are twisted around in just the way I have described, that the future points into the past. However, this would be useless to create a time machine because you could never get outside of the black hole once you fall inside. If skirting close to a black hole sounds a little uncomfortable, there is another possibility. One of the key ingredients in time travel is a, a tear being set up in space-time. Now, you can't do this in ordinary classical general relativity. You can have smooth bends in space and time, but you can't do rip it apart. In the quantum theory, you find that these bends and warps can fluctuate, and they can become contorted in such a way that you can actually punch through and change what's technical with the topology of space. And so, for example, you go from a smooth surface to something like the surface of a donut, so it twists in on itself. Now, the interesting question is how big can you make that loop? The original studies uh, tried to say it could be a large-scale loop, so you really could go back and see your grandfather. But the more recent idea is that really these effects could take place at these very, very tiny distances which you get in quantum gravity. At the moment, all routes to time travel are far beyond our technological capabilities. But more physicists than ever are doing research in this area. And all the traditional objections to time travel have turned out to be invalid. My gut feeling is that if technological obstacles are the only ones in our way, then one day time machines will be built. It will be a pity if it turns out that time travel is not possible. It would have been exciting to explore the universe in time as well as space. Well, the subject of time travel is certainly very, very speculative, as indeed is the whole issue of how you combine quantum theory and general relativity. But in these sorts of topics, however far they may appear to be from ordinary daily common sense, you really are trying to address the fundamental ingredients of reality at the really sort of basic physical level. And in that sense, I think it is a very important uh, program and well worth pursuing, even though it is, as I say, very speculative. My personal belief is that we know nothing to definitely rule out the possibility of time travel. We've been doing intensive research on this subject for many years, and we studied carefully laws of physics. We see no reason for thinking that time travel is forbidden. Almost all of the discussion about time travel is beyond the present realm of experimental testing. But I have faith in the theory, and time travel is allowed by the theory. Maybe I'm an optimist, but there's an old saying in physics, whatever is not forbidden is compulsory.
to fly than I thought. This looks like the right place. Now, I've brought you back to 1970.